Technology Lab, which sponsored the development of this project. We're now heading into the final countdown, so let's get a status update on the rocket. With just a few minutes to go before liftoff, everything is looking good on Falcon 9. Full fuel is fully loaded on both stages, and LOX is getting there as well. At T minus one and a half minutes, we will start vehicle gas closeouts. That's completion of all helium and nitrogen gas loading and the closing of all the valves to those systems. Around that time, you'll also see a large cloud of white gas coming out of the TE. This is expected. This is us venting out the liquid oxygen lines in, on the TE into the air, making sure that excess oxidizer isn't in the path of Falcon 9's plume at liftoff. At T minus one minute, Falcon 9 will go into startup. You'll hear that on the countdown net. This is when the vehicle stops listening to requests from the ground, other than an abort, of course, and instead is controlled by the flight computer from then on through launch. Now, as a reminder, if anyone calls a hold on the launch today, we will try again at a later date. Falcon 9 and the payload are currently tracking no issues. The weather is go, the winds are go, and the range is green for an on-time launch today. Now, with three minutes to go, Let's listen in on the countdown nets. Here we go. Here we go. Stand by. Night started. Stage one lock slow has closed up. Stage two locks load is closed up. That's steam. Just steam, they'll say. Just, yeah. It's been launching from northwest of Los Angeles. So I wonder how long it'll take to reach Arizona. Falconize and startup. Stage two is pressing for flight. It's launch reactor on countdown one. We are go for launch. <laughs> Closeouts are complete. Stage one, pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good mom. 
it's a good lesson. They haven't put anybody on Power board. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember. Vehicles Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and is now headed upward on its mission to sun synchronous low Earth orbit. Coming up, the rocket will throttle down for max Q, which, re maximum aerodynamic pressure. which represents the maximum aerodynamic stress on the rocket. We're now headed into a series of events that will occur in rapid succession. That's Miko, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. Miko is the shutdown of all nine first stage engines in preparation for stage separation, where stage two separates from stage one, and SES-1 is the ignition of the second stage engine. Impact chill has begun. Look at that view. Following SES-1, we will turn our attention back to the returning first stage, which will relight three of its engines in a boost back burn to head back towards the drone ship, and then finally, we'll see ferried fairing deployment at T plus two minutes and 43 seconds. So we'll see if they catch this, these fairings. Or As mentioned earlier in this webcast, we're attempting, attempting to recover the payload fairing. And while we will not have a live video feed of this attempt, we'll share updates as they become available. So in about 20 seconds, you'll hear the call out from Miko. Let's listen in. There's California. <laughs> Whoa, California. Wow. Wait, Miko. Miko, there it goes. <laughs> That's so cool. It's headed back to Earth. You just saw we had a successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, as well as ignition of that second stage. Just the earth. Okay. I, and I'm there sorry. goes that fairing. And there you can see all 64 of those satellites on stage two headed. To Look at that! You can see Earth. Look at the roundness. have cameras up there. I, I don't even understand how the technology works while it's that, with that pressure. And You will hear the call up for the boost back burn ending in a couple of seconds. Here it comes back down to That's California. where stage one's burn that brings it back in the direction of the drone ship. That burn will, that burn will cease. Coming in hot. Literally and figuratively. Stage two trajectory nominal. And we are hearing that the stage two trajectory is nominal and performing as desired. You can see those beautiful grid fins popping up on the yeah, left side on stage one as it makes its way back down to the drone ship. So we can pop it on the next rocket and use it again. In fact, D's power is nominal. That burn is looking very good. This is crazy. Whoa. You can see the clouds over California. Traveling 7,045 kilometers per hour. Stage two, impact D engine mm -hmm. continues to look good. Temperatures and chamber pressures remain nominal. We have beautiful views of the earth from both stages. So just a quick recap in case if you have just joined us, we just had a beautiful liftoff from Vandenberg Air Force Base, uh, our West Coast launch site in California, followed by 
amazing footage of stage separation, main engine cut off first, then stage separation. And we see the second engine, um, they're ignited and carrying our payloads into the proper orbit. Now on the left side of your screen there, you see our first stage, which is we're coming back down to planet Earth uh, as we're hoping to land it on our drone ship uh, this morning. So coming up in just a few seconds, we'll be initiating the re-entry burn. Uh, this is designed to slow the rocket down as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. Then just a couple minutes later, we'll perform the final burn, also known as the landing burn, and that will decelerate the vehicle to a gentle landing atop of our drone ship. Here comes the burn. So there's the visual confirmation of that re-entry burn. Here it comes. Back in the atmosphere. All right, just follow the instructions, drone ship, catch this bad boy. This will last for another 10 seconds. They've done all of this in six minutes and 30 seconds. Insane. Okay, so now that re-entry burn has ended, we have less than a minute until that third and final landing burn will happen, followed by a touchdown. Now, as we uh, approach our first stage landing, I'd like to point out that we might lose video coverage uh, out there on our drone ship. There's lots of vibrations as the rocket is coming down towards it, so we might lose our satellite signal. Uh, if this is the case, we'll be sure to provide you status updates on that first stage as they become available. Uh, we're certainly excited to hear about it here in Hawthorne as, um, and across all of SpaceX as this is the third time, the first time okay. that we have are trying to land us for a third time. So there we can see that final landing burn happening. We'll be looking for deployment of the landing legs here momentarily. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Is it in the ocean? Did it land? They just landed it on a ship. Look at that. So as you can hear from the crowd cheers here, I'm oh, 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 sorry. Ruby, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. And it's still going. The rocket's still going to get to wherever it's going. It's insane. So as you saw in that shot, Falcon 9 landed on our drone ship just read the instructions which is currently out in the pacific ocean <laughs> that's so great and the first the second stage is still continuing on with the primary mission though we are uh eight minutes and 32 seconds into flight and the second stage is still burning nominally it's on a really good trajectory power is looking good chamber pressures are good and we're looking at 200 000 pounds of thrust. okay thank you for letting me watch that i'll be learning.